We, uh, my name is Isabel Yonker. And I'm Sarah Humphrey. And I'm Ariana Moreno. And we researched the College of Fine Arts, looking into the members of the Fine Arts College, how they come together as a community, while living and learning in their environment. Okay, first let's look at what makes up a community. We define a community as a group of people sharing similar goals, beliefs, and or values. We define living environments, a constant environment one resides feeling comfort, building relationships, and functioning in a daily life. What is learning? To gain or acquire knowledge of a skill by experience, studying, or being taught. Now we're going to go over the College of Fine Arts mission statement. To create, to think critically, to manage, and to continually experiment and learn. These are the core abilities that the College of Fine Arts majors and programs offer. In this process of making, appreciating, and managing the arts, you will refine your artistic sensibility while developing ethics of work and of craft. Whether you will become an arts professional, connoisseur, or advocate, you will continue to serve the mission of the university by making a vital contribution to the quality of life in the Commonwealth and in other communities. Within the Fine Arts building, there are four majors, art, arts administration, music, and theater. Approximately 1,000 undergrad and graduate students reside in the College of Fine Arts. Okay, some of the facilities used by the College of Fine Arts include the Fine Arts Building, the Singletary Center, the Reynolds Building, Rasdell Gallery, the Fine Arts Library, and Roselle Hall. And here's a picture of the Fine Arts Building. Some of the spaces used, used within the Fine Arts College are classrooms, practice rooms, workshops, performance spaces, studios, lounge areas, faculty offices, learning resources, and residential college. And here we can see an interior space of the college. Uh, the learning outcomes in the Roselle College of Fine Arts Residential Hall are through participation in the Fine Arts Residential College, a student will recognize and compare various genres and arts, demonstrate a desire to work with people different from themselves, manage the college experience to achieve academic and personal success, exhibit a heightened awareness and of intrapersonal needs such as self-advocacy, self-care, and personal attributes, identify and exhibit effective leadership skills, ethical decision-making, organization skills, and principled dissent. Compare various art-related occupations for future employment and express strategies relevant to seeking an occupation in the field. The Residential College of Fine Arts can be found in Roselle Hall on North Campus on the second floor and it holds approximately 36 students. College of Fine Arts Learning and Living Community in the Future. We look more like a community home environment with classrooms, very modern and high tech, very youthful and fresh. They hope to incorporate modern technology advances, more collaboration among majors, a stronger sense of community, and reach out to the university and community in Lexington. Okay, the learning styles that we went over were auditory, visual, and kinesthetic. And within the interior space, auditory learners would need good acoustics, visual learners would need surfaces for diagrams and presentations, and the kinesthetic learners would need work surfaces for hands-on activities. What is humanism? An emphasis on common human needs, human values, and rationally solving human problems. Humanism in the College of Fine Arts, concerns and values for a new building would be air quality, bathrooms, technology, flexibility and layout, organization, and lighting and electric. Okay. How we related these concerns to the interiors include the air ventilation or HVAC system, the layout utilizing their dead space and address the plumbing issues, up-to-date equipment being incorporated, circulation, flexibility of furniture and equipment, and shared space for better collaboration and a more unified system, utilizing their natural light and creating a cohesive lighting system and having sufficient energy provided. And here we can see an example of their current ventilation systems. And this is one of their current collaboration spaces. 
Culture in College of Fine Arts Interiors. Culture of groups and subgroups, interaction among people in shared spaces, addressing values, needs of culture, culturally diverse environment, and creating moments of shared interests. Changing communication in the College of Fine Arts. Uh, communication is changing with technology, so our interior responses would be creating interaction and collaboration in spaces, flexibility of space to change and adapt, and utilizing shared spaces. Technology contributions to interiors include a simplistic or minimalistic style, a sleek modern feeling, and it would influence the cost or budget, it would also be working around the technological or electrical components and have more flexibility of the space. Our response question to everyone is what ways could the College of Fine Arts be more unified? Thank you for listening to our presentation. Have a great day.